Welcome to this tech tip showing how to leverage edge cam's ability to automatically adjust milling feed rates for arc moves. The part used with this example is machined in a vertical CNC milling machine. The machining process begins with clamps positioned parallel to the Y axis. Material is removed, intelligently avoiding the fixtures. Then the machining stops, clamps are repositioned, and remaining material is removed. Once all roughing is complete, the pocket walls will be finished with the next tool. This is where we're at in the current process, where we'll explore how to use EdgeCam's ability to adjust feed rates on arc moves. Let's zoom up on the part, turn off the display of the machine, and also the work holding fixtures. The roughing tool path is hidden from a visual standpoint so that we can focus on the finished milling. When we open the profiling cycle, we can see that the current feed values are 50 inches a minute. Let's look at the CNC code for this tool. And we can see that we output the 50 inch a minute value and then feed rates are not changed for the duration of the cutting. EdgeCam 2018R1 adds the adjust feed on arcs. When I check this on and press OK, we'll then take that and build new tool path and look at the results. So now I'm going to generate code using tool number two. The updated code file starts at the 50 inches per minute, but then we see feed rate adjustments happen during the cutting process. This is made possible by the option in the post processor. If we go to the NC style section and go find the circular interpolation area, you'll find that there's the maximum increase of 25% and maximum decrease of 25%. We also suggest that for users at EdgeCam 2018R1 that most will want to turn off the adjust feed rate to side of tool. This option has been a post processor option for a long time and it provides global ability for the post processor to output all arc moves adjusted feed to the side of tool. As the What's New explains, this option did not provide good cycle time evaluations where the new one does. So we do suggest that if you have this option on your post processors, when you update them to 2018 R1 template to support this new functionality, also make sure to turn this option off as is done in this post processor. Now heading back to EdgeCam, we wanna point out that for more information on this, simply go to What's New and in the What's New documentation under Contents and Manufacturing, Profiling, Adjust Feed Rate to Side of Tool, there's some additionally good information here that explains both the feed rate calculations and how the feed rate cycle time values are now properly handled by the software with this new function. Additional information is available in the M2 Technologies Tech Tip on finish milling applications adjust feed rate on arcs. The M2 blog site has many tech tips and training segments. Use the search option on the blog page with keywords adjust feed rate to locate this tech tip and additional information. And contact us by email or phone if you need additional assistance or have questions on CAM applications.